everyone, welcome back to Packs for Purpose, where we like to give, give, give! Guys, I'm so excited we are growing this channel so quickly. Uh, thank you so much for everyone's support. We are at 270 plus subscribers. We have finally hit our 250 subscriber mark. We are behind on opening Secret Layer, by the way. So we're going to get into a couple of those today. We're also going to find out, since this came a little bent from Wizards, if uh, hopefully the cards inside are not bent. This is the left-handed... Magic the Gathering Secret Layer Traditional Foil Edition. And of course, we are going to get into the Little Walkers Traditional Foil Edition here. Um, as you can see, my playmat right here. Very, very nice, shiny foil um, Little Walkers playmat featuring that art from that set. Uh, for From that secret layer. So, And then of course, again, give, 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 give. That's what we're about, guys. That's the purpose. Some of you have emailed me, why are you guys named Pax for Purpose? Well, our purpose is to give back. Uh, and that's by giving back to you guys, giving back to our local community, raising money for charity. We have more information on that coming here soon. But today we're going to give to a random subscriber. This is one that you did not need to comment on any of my videos for. This is just a totally random giveaway to anybody who's subscribed to the channel. This is a collector booster pack of Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, as well as a Midnight Hunt set booster. We're going to go searching for that Meat Hook Massacre if we can find it. And I have a foil Terramorphic Expanse, a secret layer, full text land that I'm going to be throwing in as well. Just something small uh, in case there's like completely dud hits in these packs. We give something a little extra and why not? It was sitting around on my desk. I said, I'll throw that in too. So let's get into opening these secret layers and we'll see what we've got. I guess we'll start off. Let's start off with the left handed. Uh, this is the new secret layer packaging. I want to make sure the cards inside are not damaged. So let's pull this open. I really like the way that they have done this. Um, I much prefer this packaging style, honestly, over the big box here. This is a lot of material to recycle. It kind of gets, and it takes up space. If you're buying them for like collection to keep sealed, or if you're purchasing them uh, for uh, resale, uh, it becomes cumbersome to uh, store them in a closet or something like that. The thin, thin, th the thin uh, areas here. Um, uh, lost my train of thought. The thin cardboard helps with storage for sure. So it looks like the cards are not damaged. These are uh, really good condition here. So let's get in and take a look at these and see what our secret card is here, which is now packaged together with the rest of the cards in the packaging. So our secret card should be this card right here, and it looks like it's got a little damage right here if the camera, whoops, sorry, there it is, if the camera can pick that up. So hopefully that's nothing super crazy big. Uh, we've got some damage, so we do have some damage, and the cards are bent. So I'll have to send a couple of these off to Wizards. So we're starting off with Sisse, Weatherlight Captain here, foil secret layer. And these are the left-handed ones. So it's it, it at first glance, it's kind of uh, jarring to look at, right? Because if you're used to traditional magic cards or, you know, you're just normal people read left uh, to right, this is kind of a, uh, uh, you've got the casting cost over here. It's not backwards. It's just, well, it's reverse backwards here, but the, the lettering is not backwards. It looks backwards at first glance, but it's just, it's switched up. Uh, so Sisse Weatherlight Captain. We've got an Empress Galena, which that one looks okay condition here. Very, very beautiful. And long time since we've seen this. Gain control of target legendary permanent. Really good in commander, though. Stealing people's commander is kind of mean. Giralf's Messenger. Really good zombie card there. <clears throat> Love the artwork on that, too. He's got a, a lot of blades attached to his hand there. Looks like he's chained to uh, inside of a cave or, or something. Um... Definitely don't want him escaping. Rogach, son of Roga. Rograk, son of Roga. Really cool. This one uh, was a recent card that we came out with in Commander uh, Legends, the first Commander Legends. And, of course, the Garuk Color of Beast, which is a beautiful art for Garuk with his wolf and an axe. Wolf, wolf kind of jumping out of the card frame a little bit there. His paw coming over. Really like that. That's really pretty. So it looks like the only damaged card, to be honest with you, um, from this was the Sisse, I believe. Just kind of looking these over. I don't think these were damaged. Not really. Uh, Empress Kalina looks good too, I think. Yep. So it looks like the Sisse and then the card in the back. So we'll set these off here to the side. I'll sleeve them later. 
And we will see what this secret layer card is. And we have a Dacon Black Blade. So this is the one that's supposed to come in the secret layer if you don't get it replaced with a, um, you know, a blueprint or a masterpiece style card. Uh, this is an old Legends card. Dakin's Black Blade, power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control, which is very interesting for white, blue, and black, because typically um, power and toughness equal to lands you control is something that's in like an evergreen mechanic for green. Uh, green usually has cards that are like that. So I'll send these cards off to get replaced by Wizards since they came with damage out of the pack. And we'll move on to what I'm looking forward to, and that is the Secret Layer Little Walkers. So this is the old packaging style where we still have the Secret Layer card right here on the back. So we're going to set that right here. <clears throat> Let me chuck this stuff here out of the way. And we'll pull this off the... That's another thing I like too. I don't have to... With the new packaging, you don't have to pull off the little glue from the um, cardboard backing, which sometimes used to be kind of difficult to do. Uh, you would kind of pull, you'd have to pull real hard to get them off, and I was always worried about damaging the cards or bending the cards during that process. So this is uh, starting off with Tamio the Moon Sage. I love this little chibi style art. Uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, Magic the Gathering, um, the, the artist here, Uta Natsumi, uh, very, very uh, gorgeous art style. And this is, um, I'm a fan just because, I, I don't know, they're just adorable. They're adorable. And if you watch anime or you're a fan of anime, I'm sure you like these as well. There's a Johnny Mentor of Heroes here. Absolutely beautiful. He's so cute looking there with his, he's got kind of got that little wink in his eye. There's a little uh, two axe blades in his hand. Love it, love it, love it. Really great in Commander T. This is the one that you can gain 100 life. Uh, distributes plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three target creatures you control. Great if you're uh, doing any kind of um, uh, not populate mechanic, but uh, uh, proliferate mechanic or something like that. Like uh, Traxa, really good in a Traxa. There's an Engrath, the Flame Chained. He's so adorable too, driving his little pirate ship, sailing in the ocean. He's got uh, a little earring here, hanging off his horn. These are just so adorable. Love these cards, love these cards. Ashiok Dream Render. Very, very pretty. Very gorgeous. Love the blues and purples on that one. That shines very well as well in the light. And last but not least, Soren Grim Nemesis. So, um, not quite as menacing as the obviously original art. Uh, kind of hard to be scared of Soren when he looks like this, right? But uh, I think these make for unique cards to play with uh, at your commander game, your local... LGS, if you play at your local LGS or just with a group of friends, very, very pretty. So let's get into our giveaway, and I will tell you guys exactly how to enter. Oh, right. <laughs> Almost forgot. We've got the secret card here. So let's flip this around and see what it is. Two-headed sliver. So they've started putting these in uh, to a lot of secret layers lately. I'm, I'm really happy to see the slivers because I, you know, I'm sure most of you as well as I am sick of the basic lands from Jumpstart. Some of them are neat and cool or unique, but uh, Sliver's much better choice wizard, so thank you for that. So let's get into this. This is going to go to a random subscriber. We'll find out who is going to be the winner of this here in just a second, and then we will open these and see what cool goodies we can find inside these packs, and I'll send you the Terramorphic Expanse with that as well. So let's see who won from our random subscriber list. All right, let's find out who our winner is for this giveaway. We are at random.org. We are going to enter all of our names here. These are all the names of our current subscribers. Anybody that has their subscription set to public anyway. Keep in mind, guys, if you don't see your name in this list, it's because your subscription is set to private. And if it's set to private, I cannot see it. So if you want to make sure that you have a chance to win something on this channel just for being a random subscriber or just for being a subscriber and win something random here on this channel, uh, just make sure you're set to public, okay? So we're going to go to the dice roller first. We're going to roll two six-sided dice. As long as the number is greater than six, which it is, seven. That is the number of times we're going to randomize the list. So I've got all the names here in this list. As we scroll down, I made sure to double check for duplication. There's not. I did my best. I had to do a lot of this stuff manually, guys. So we will have a better way of doing this in the future, I'm sure. But right now, this is the way we're doing it. This is the current subscriber list as of... Uh, September 8th, 2022. So we're going to go ahead and randomize this seven times. One, two, 
Name on top at the end is going to be the winner. Three. Four. Five. Six. Next one on top is going to be the winner. And just make sure, like I said, there's some, as you can see, there's 111 here. Okay. Uh, obviously, we have more subscribers than 111. Again, make sure your settings are set to public so I can see your subscription. And then you can be added to this list as well. So if you're not in this list, I apologize. Again, make sure it's set to public. I want everyone to have an equal fair chance of winning. Next one on top is the winner. Let's see who it is. Number seven is going to go to HPCM. HPCM, congratulations on winning our giveaway for our subscriber giveaway here. Thanks to everyone for supporting us here at Packs for Purpose. We are growing. I am excited. So excited. Let's get in to see what HPCM has won in these booster packs. And congratulations, HPCM. Uh, first of all, you're definitely going to go home with this Terramorphic Expanse full, not even a full art, full text land. So very unique uh, here to be, or uh, quite a unique piece to put in a uh, commander deck for sure, or any deck, depending on what format you play. But we're here to see what's in the Forgotten Realms collector booster, as well as the Midnight Hunt set booster. So we'll save the best for last. We'll start with the set booster here and see what we can find. Hopefully a Meat Hook Massacre for you, because that's what I really want to be able to give away on this channel. There is that Ren and Seven art. Very, very gorgeous. There is that beautiful, and look at the way that shines and pops. I, I love the bordering. It's kind of slightly textured as well. Um, it's got a glossy outline here for these full text lands. That swamp is really, really pretty. And I think we're going right into... Okay, no. We are... Rare is at the back. Sometimes it's in the front, depending on, on the kind of uh, booster we have. But oh, look at that. Look at that. And see how that pops? I'm, I'm sure the camera is picking that up. I can see it there. It is gorgeous. You got that purple and red, purple for the black. There's our first rare showcase, Florian Voldaren Scion. Very, very, very pretty card. See if we can get another good hit for you here in the back. So we have the Celestis. Celestis is a uh, very interesting rare. It lets you choose between night and day by paying three and tapping it. So you can force your werewolves to transform. You also get to gain a life and draw a card and discard a card if you want to. Moon Ranger Slash is the foil here in the pack. And we do not have a list card. We have a Raven token. So now we're going to get into the super spicy pack. This is a collector booster. I did pick this up from Uncanny Comics and Games in Richmond, Texas, uh, who is helping to sponsor our channel with some of the giveaways and stuff here. Um, I did purchase this from them. This is not a, a sponsored giveaway. This is something that I went out and bought uh, for you guys. Um, just to see if we could get something really cool on the channel. It's the first time I'm doing a full collector booster giveaway, but like I said, I want to do more. We're all about giveaways here on the channel, so make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Follow us for more awesome MTG content and your chance at winning something like this as well. <clears throat> White Dragon is our first uncommon, followed by a Ferida Devil's Chosen. There is that forest with uh, Dungeons and Dragons quotes here. Before the Elf Queen will aid you, you must find a way to cure the strange rot afflicting the roots of the ancient trees. For all you Dungeons and Dragons players here, you'll appreciate some of that. Frog Hemoth. Good old frog horror there, starting off with. Going into Chaos Dragon. That's pretty cool. Gotta love the dragons, right? He attacks each combat if able at the beginning of your combat on your turn. Each player rolls a d20. If one or more opponents had the highest result, Chaos Dragon can't attack those players or Planeswalkers they control this combat. Very interesting uh, political type ch random chance game there. And there's quite a few rares and mythics in these collector boosters, so we, we got a few more here. Eye of Vecna is our extended art borderless, another extended art borderless card. This was the commander card from the commander series decks, and this is the from the set itself. Followed by, a, this is our common, common showcase, Bullet. Followed by a Cloister Gargoyle here. Oh, Den of the Bugbear. That's a really good card. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably somewhere between $5 and $10. It may be slightly more. This is being played in um, some competitive decks. Also really good just in general to throw into a red EDH deck, especially a red EDH Goblin deck. Uh, so Commander... Uh, forgive me, guys. It's Commander. EDH is Commander. If, if some of you are newer to joining the Magic the Gathering community and you're wondering what EDH, it stands for Elder Dragon Highlander. That's what it was called before it became Commander. So if, in case any of you are watching wondering what that is, that's, that's, that's what that is. 
So Rhyme Shield, Frost Giant, Foil. And let's find out what our hopefully big hit is here in the back. We are going home with a Black Staff of Waterdeep, Extended Art Foil. So again, congratulations to HPCM. There's our Foil Treasure Token as well with a Foil Fairy Dragon. HPCM, all you have to do is send an email to info at packsforpurpose.com. Again, that is info at packsforpurpose.com. Let me know your full mailing address. I will go ahead and ship all of this to you. If you live outside of the United States, guys, we still want you to be able to participate. So we will work something out with you. Uh, there may be additional fees for shipping. I try not to. I try to avoid that. Uh, you know, a lot of countries I can ship reasonably to. Uh, there's only been a few of run into issues where it, it was pretty exorbitant. So uh, I might offer a cash option or something like that uh, as well. Um, again, thank you again for joining us for Packs for, on Packs for Purpose. We appreciate all of you as we grow this channel. Honestly, truthfully, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really do. All you have to do to enter these giveaways is be a subscriber to the channel. A lot of my other videos, uh, some of the giveaways, you'll have to leave a comment in the videos, but you can also win by just being a subscriber. So make sure to turn on that notification bell. Follow us at on Twitter at Packs for Purpose. We have more giveaways on Twitter as well. We are coming out with a Patreon. We're coming out with uh, uh, our website is live, so PacksforPurpose.com. You can go there. We're coming out with merchandise soon, so stay tuned for a lot of that. And again, thank you so so much. Um, and congratulations to HPCM for going home with some pretty sweet cards on today's video. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Packs for Purpose signing out.